Welcome to this course and today I'm going to be giving you a blueprint that you can follow to earn an income on YouTube. I'm sure you've heard about all the success stories of people who are making a living thanks to YouTube. I'm sure you've heard of people making hundreds of thousands or even millions of dollars by posting videos on YouTube. But what a lot of people don't know about is that these successful YouTubers had to work hard for months or even years before they started earning money from YouTube. So what's great about the blueprint that I'm going to be giving you is that it's going to help you earn income faster, even possibly earning income in your first week doing this. Now of course I'm not going to guarantee you anything. I'm not going to guarantee that you'll make money at all. I don't know your work ethic and I don't know you personally but I am confident about this blueprint and that it will help people earn income with YouTube a lot faster so if you are interested in learning about this blueprint watch the following video in which I'm gonna talk more about this blueprint and in the other videos I'm gonna to try to help you implement this blueprint now before I go any further I want to quickly show you the blueprint that I'm gonna be talking about in this course so there's a few steps for this blueprint. The first step is to create a video and this is not just any video. The video that you're going to be creating for YouTube is going to be a video that has a good chance of going viral and a good chance of generating a lot of traffic. Now it's not guaranteed but there are a few things you can do to make sure that you create a hit video. Okay so I'll be talking about that um, in this course. The next thing that you want to do is to direct that traffic to a funnel. So in the descrip description field of your video, you're going to want to put a link to your funnel. Okay. If you don't know what a funnel is, it's basically a process that uh, a lead or a customer goes through. So for example, the first page of the fun funnel could be a page offering a free gift. And in return for the free gift, the lead has to give you their email address so they fill in their email address and they subscribe into your list and the next step of that funnel would be where they would uh, be offered an upsell or be presented with uh, an affiliate offer that you're promoting okay so basically you're gonna be generating leads and sales from that funnel and then once you have these leads you could promote affiliate products to them on a daily basis or a weekly basis uh, depending on how comfortable you are promoting pro or emailing your list. Me personally I email my list every day and it provides me with a daily income. Okay so that's the blueprint for you. Um, in the following videos I'm gonna get into more detail on how to do these steps. Now let's talk about creating a hit video. First of all you have to do research. You have to find videos that have a lot of views but few subscribers. Okay, and this could be for any niche that you're in or that you plan to get into. Because see, if you find a video that has a lot of views but it has a lot of subscribers, then you don't really know if that type of video or the topic of that video will generate a lot of traffic. So, for example, if you see a video that has a hundred thousand views or a million views, but they have a hundred thousand subscribers or a million subscribers then you know what if that traffic was generated because of the following that that youtuber has so you gotta find videos that have a lot of views but few subscribers and then you could tell that the topic of that video was one of the reasons that uh, it generated a lot of traffic and went viral okay so for example I, I typed on YouTube uh, Bitcoin um, beginners or how to how to buy Bitcoin or something related to cryptocurrency and I found that this video which has over 100,000 views and only 5,000 subscribers okay and looking at the date that this was published it was published on January 2018 so it's about six or seven months old so it's not that bad that it's already got a hundred thousand views if it was a year or two years old then I may not be as impressed but it's only been a few months and it's already generated a hundred thousand views with only five thousand subscribers 
So now what you're going to do is watch the video and then try to take notes and try to create a video similar to that. You don't have to copy it. You know, you could do some more research on the topic and create your own unique video. Now, it's very important that when you create a video, you have to try to provide knowledge that's one or two levels above the general knowledge, okay? That's how you're going to get fans and how people are, are going to subscribe to you. Because if you have a video that shares information that everybody knows or that's not too enlightening, not too many people are going to share your videos and you're not going to get too many likes. So you have to go above and beyond. Now when you're creating the video, you could create on a PowerPoint, you could speak in front of a camera, or you could even outsource that to sites such as Fiverr. Okay, and the tool that I use for creating videos, uh, such as the one that you're watching right now, is Camtasia. Um, there are some high quality free tools online, so if you can't afford Camtasia, um, you could do some more research and find some free tools that will work for you. And lastly, it's important to create an image for your thumbnail that will attract visitors and make people want to click on your videos. So for that, what I use is a free tool called Canva. And let's just go to canva.com. Uh, you can open a free account here, and they have all types of templates. They, already, they have templates for uh, YouTube thumbnails, eBooks, infographics, banner ads, and so on. So let's just click on uh, YouTube thumbnail here, and let's just check out their templates. Okay, and these templates here, most of them are free, the ones that say free here. And let's just click on this one, Hawaii, that's a nice looking one here, okay. And if you want to edit, it's very easy. You just click on uh, the images or the text and make your cha changes. The other component of this blueprint is to have a funnel in place. If you're not familiar with what a funnel is, uh, a funnel is, well, just think of it as a process that you take your customers or leads through in which you can collect their contact information and also sell them products through each step of the funnel. So in your YouTube video descriptions, you're going to want to have a call to action. Okay, so for example, um, in the other video where I showed you a video that generated a lot of traffic, uh, the tra that video was about Bitcoin or how to buy Bitcoin and cryptocurrency for beginners. So you could create uh, a quick checklist showing all the tools you need to buy Bitcoin and cryptocurrency and offer that as a free gift. You could just say in your description, click here to find out what the best tools are for buying Bitcoin and other types of cryptocurrency. Okay, so obviously the product has to be related to the topic of the video. So when they click on the link, they get brought to your funnel. Now the first step of your funnel or the first page you see should be your squeeze page that offers a free product. And on the squeeze page should be an opt-in form so they could um, enter their email address and other contact information if, you, if that's what you require. Now... The free product, aside from being a checklist, can also be a report, a video, and it can be in many forms. And to create these free products, you can do it yourself or you could hire people to do it for you on Fiverr and other sites. And you could also buy products that have private label rights. And private label rights or PLR are products that other people create and then you sell the rights for people to be able to edit and resell those products okay or to give them away depending on what the license is and same thing comes to creating the next step of your funnel which is the OTO page or upsell page or whatever you want to call it because once your leads sign up you show them an offer and you sell them a product that you either created or outsourced or you bought the private label rights to okay alternatively if you don't if you don't want to spend the time creating a product and trying to sell them a product you could just direct your leads to an affiliate product sales page and to find affiliate products there are dozens of affiliate networks out there 
what comes to mind are ClickBank, JVZoo, and Wire Plus. ClickBank is for almost every type of niche out there. And as, as for JVZoo and Wire Plus, that's more for products and internet marketing and make money online niche. Now, when I create funnels, I do use a tool called ClickFunnels, which is fairly expensive. Um, so if you can't afford it, there are other funnel builders in the market. You could also create your own funnel for free. There are video tutorials on YouTube on how to create squeeze pages from scratch and also how to create just web pages using uh, HTML. Now that you have a list of subscribers, it's like having an ATM machine because I myself, I have a list of subscribers and I email my list every day. I promote affiliate products every day or at least I try to promote affiliate products every day to my list. So I earn commissions almost every day from my list and depending on how comfortable you feel emailing your list, you could email them every day or every other day or twice a week if you want. It's up to you. And you could also write a series of autoresponder emails to build a relationship and also to promote related affiliate products. So basically when someone opts in, joins your list, they'll automatically receive these emails from you. These autoresponder emails, you could write five of them, 10 or even 30 or more. And you will need an autoresponder such as GetResponse, Aweber, MailChimp, and so on. There are several autoresponder tools in the market. Um, I've been using GetResponse for several years now, so I do highly recommend uh, GetResponse. Now that you've got a hit video and a profitable funnel and a list that you could profit from almost every day, you could just rinse and repeat this process, or you can just be content with this and just profit from the list. And then you could just generate your traffic from other sources other than YouTube. For example, you could generate traffic from other social media networks or even use paid advertising once you know the average value of your customers. Of course, you could rinse and repeat this whole process of creating a hit video and creating a profitable funnel. Now, I'm not going to guarantee anything here, and obviously the first time you try something, um, you may not be good at it and you may fail. So, for example, if you're trying to create a hit video, the first time you try it, you know, you may create a dud and you may not get as much traffic as you expected. Or the funnel that you create uh, may not be as profitable or as high converting as you expected. So, of course, you have to learn from trial and error here and just keep pushing and be persistent. Now, a side benefit of this blueprint is that you're going to get plenty of YouTube subscribers, right? When you have hit videos, when you're pumping out these videos, you're going to build your YouTube subscriber database and you're going to be able to monetize your channel more and you'll have more opportunities to joint venture and work with other YouTubers. And what I love about this method is that you could profit a lot faster from it than the traditional way of profiting from YouTube, which is just to create videos and just wait till you have a large list of YouTube subscribers, which can take several months or even years. So with that said, I hope you found this course valuable and I wish you the best of luck.